ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the Weather Extreme video for Sunday, March the 1st. I'm meteorologist Brian Peterson. It looks like March is coming in on a wintry note. I guess maybe I should call this the Weather Extreme Snow Edition. Let's take a look at our SkyCam network, and uh, there's the look at Demopolis, and you can see a dusting down there. The snow coming down very heavily in downtown Birmingham, but as you can see from the reflections on the street, streets are still wet, but that could change today and could become uh, an issue for some travel. And here's a look at Mount Cheha, and you can see even up there, roads are clear at the moment. But uh, the snow is not going to end until about middle of the afternoon across central Alabama, so we we'll need to keep that in mind if you're heading, heading out anywhere today. The uh, surface low is now over the southern part of uh, Georgia as the uh, cold air has come in, and, of course, the precipitation is going on. And here's our cold core low over southwest Alabama, and that is the culprit and uh, the one everybody is thankful for for giving us a nice snow event and I think we're going to see on the order of one to three inches across the area and uh, fairly evenly uh, distributed, too, it appears right now. Temperatures across the United States still pretty cold uh, behind the front and uh, certainly some minus numbers up there in the Dakotas and uh, up in uh, Minnesota. So just absolutely minus, uh, well, I, the coldest I see is about minus 17 or so, minus 19. But that's pretty pretty cold. Not that cold around here. We are right around the freezing mark, though, and you can see a good deal of snow occurring all the way from uh, actually way down in south-central Alabama all the way up uh, to the Tennessee line. And uh, let's take a look at radar. That'll give us an idea of where the snow is occurring. And almost all that you see over Alabama and uh, east central Mississippi and extreme uh, southern Tennessee, all of that is uh, snow. That, of course, that storm system uh, bringing a lot of issues, a uh, combination of winter weather advisories and uh, uh, high wind advisories for uh, the southeastern United States. A tornado watch still in effect over parts of uh, northern Florida and the uh, Georgia and South Carolina coastline. And that's uh, also that storm as it moves up the mid-Atlantic coast is going to bring problems up there. QPF-wise, uh, the precipitation should end today, and as I say, one to three inches uh, over the area, and fairly uniform. I don't have a real good way to really pinpoint the exact uh, heavier snow bands because it seems to be fairly widespread. All right, let's get to the 06E GFS model run. And this is the, the 18Z upper air chart, and it's showing... The cold core low uh, over uh, southwestern Georgia this afternoon and the surface low just off the South Carolina coast with all that moisture wrapping around and, of course, the very cold air in place. The low moves fairly uh, rapidly up the east coast of the United States, causing a lot of problems right along the coastline and just inland with uh, snow issues. We, uh, we stay kind of chilly in the upper air pattern with a northwesterly flow through Tuesday, but I think moderation begins then. You can see uh, even on Tuesday we're dry, but the thickness is uh, beginning to come up, 540 line running around Scottsboro. Uh, the high shifts off to the east on Wednesday, and uh, Thursday we're becoming under uh, more of a ridge uh, as uh, we'll moderate very, very nicely. But we stay dry with most of the moisture off to our west and to the north as a result of that ridge. The ridge stays strong through Friday, so I think we're going to be dry on Friday as well uh, with precipitation just off to our north with the front not able to get here. The ridge stays strong even into Saturday, uh, but you can see our next system out there, and that begins to kick out on Sunday, and that should uh, bring... Another storm system out, but of course that ridge holding tough is going to hold it off until probably on Monday, and that's going to be our next main shot at some precipitation. All right, let's go out into Voodoo very quickly, and the flow goes uh, zonal around the 12th, but we, we can see a number of little impulses going through there, so it's going to uh, be uh, depend, or the weather's going to depend on exactly where the moisture is. And then uh, to the end of the period, around 372 hours or the 16th of March, we can see another uh, significant short wave coming through a rather big ridge and undercutting that ridge. So interesting days ahead, but in the meantime, most everybody pretty happy that we've gotten uh, a good snow, so the snow drought is over. Well, I appreciate you tuning into the Weather Extreme video. James Spann should be back with the next one tomorrow morning. Hope that you have a great snowy Sunday, and Godspeed.